In a surprising turn of events, the release of the much-anticipated Barbie film in the Middle East has been delayed, due to a censorship battle surrounding perceived LGBTQ plus content within the movie. Middle Eastern theater chain Vox Cinemas confirmed that the film's original release date of July 18th has been postponed to August 31st, sparking conversations about the clash between artistic expression and regional sensitivities. Sources close to the matter have revealed to Variety that the postponement is a direct result of censor requests to edit LGBTQ plus themed content from the film before its Middle East release. This situation has raised concerns as the suggested edits are unlikely to receive approval from Warner Brothers Studio, potentially leading to the film's outright banishment from certain countries in the region. In a notable tweet, Saudi Arabian film platform Movsto made a firm announcement on July 30th, confirming that the Barbie film will not be screened in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Qatar, the UAE, Egypt, and Bahrain. However, a more recent tweet on August 4th signaled a change in the wind, indicating that UAE officials had granted permission for the film to be shown on August 31st. While the Barbie film features the talents of prominent LGBTQ plus actors like Hari Neff and Kate McKinnon, the film's content itself does not heavily emphasize LGBTQ plus themes. Nevertheless, subtle LGBTQ plus subtext and queer-coded moments are present throughout the narrative. While perplexing, such censorship requests are not entirely unexpected in the Middle East, considering that previous Barbie releases have encountered bans in Saudi Arabia due to depictions of women in roles and clothing that diverge from the region's conservative norms. This instance of regional content adjustments is not unique to the Barbie film, as Hollywood movies regularly undergo alterations when making their way to Middle Eastern audiences. Film studios that fail to comply with the demands of regional officials often face complete bans on their productions. The case of the Barbie film echoes a similar situation involving the spin-off movie Lightyear, which was banned in 14 countries after Disney declined to remove a same-sex kiss scene. In June 2022, the UAE's media regulatory office took to Twitter to declare that Lightyear would not be screened publicly due to a perceived violation of the country's media regulations, which prohibit the depiction of sexual activity outside of different sex marriage. Interestingly, the inclusion of the same-sex kiss in Lightyear faced its own journey, surviving potential editing due to backlash from LGBTQ plus Pixar staff members. In a March 2022 open letter, these employees accused Disney of removing nearly every moment of overtly gay affection from their films. Responding to this criticism, Disney executives reinstated the same-sex scene which features the character Hawthorne sharing a kiss with her same-sex partner. Actor Chris Evans, known for his portrayal of Buzz in Lightyear, expressed his contentment at the scene's reinstatement, but expressed frustration that its inclusion had become a focal point for discussion. He emphasized the importance of normalizing diverse representation in films, and hoped that such instances would someday be regarded as a standard rather than a novelty. As the debate over LGBTQ plus representation in Middle Eastern cinema continues, the Barbie film's delay exemplifies the complex interplay between creative expression, cultural norms, and evolving societal attitudes. The broader conversation about LGBTQ plus content in film persists, serving as a testament to the ongoing struggle for greater inclusivity and understanding on the global stage.
We hope you found the information helpful. We know that being transgender can be a difficult journey, and we want to do our part to make it a little bit easier. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel. It would mean the world to us. You can also support our work by joining our membership. This will help us continue to create content that is helpful and supportive for the community. Thank you again for watching, and we hope to see you next time.